Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement a simple toggle working and running system. Here, if I press caps lock, the character starts working and if I press caps lock again, it starts running. And NPC guy has seen me, so he's coming to fight me. So yeah, that's what we are going to work on today. So uh, before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. And also this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series I'm doing. I'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description below. You can watch all of them for free in my channel. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Alright, so first let's go to our character class. P is that person character and here uh, I have already implemented this PPI character. So here I want to implement, I want to add a function to set movement mode but we to define the movement mode i need i'll add let's create a new enumeration to print enumeration e movement modes so for now i only want walk and run but later on we might need crouch and sprint too so crouch walk run sprint okay and here let's add a new function set moment moment As an input, I'll give a moment mod. Oh, wait, do we already have one? Oh, that's actually the moment mods in character moment component. So, this is something we customly added. This is the one we created. So, Mod. Okay, I'll set it to work as default. Now, here, yeah, let's implement that function. Uh, set moment mod. Okay, now basically, I need to change the moment speed so. Here, I'll first promote this to a variable called moment mode. By default, it should be running because that's what we have by default. And in the character moment, I'll set max walk speed like this. And I'm gonna select it based on the moment mode. So select based on this if it is crouching I'll set to or walking I'll set to 50 running 500 sprint maybe 700 but uh, for now I only need walk and run as I said before okay now uh, let's set up a new input Action a uh, dog walk and then so the default settings for this is fine. It's a digital bull. Well, nothing you need to change. So 
so now let's go back to IMC default input mapping context and here let's add I a toggle walk and as the key I'm gonna set caps lock feel free to set any key you want and then in the character toggle walk we could have called this toggle, toggle running as well so here when it is started I'll call set movement mod on self so how do we select the movement mode because we need to toggle walking between walking and running so here I'll add the moment mode. Maybe we should call this current moment mode so it's clear. So another switch. Switch on a moment mode. So if we are crouching, we should walk. If we are crouching or running or sprinting, we should go back to walk if we are walking we should go back to running all right uh, okay all right now let's test here we are running if i press caps lock we are walking caps lock running caps lock working and this applies for weapon equipped mode as well okay so that's it for this episode in upcoming episodes we will look into this movement mode changes in with the npc characters as well so when we are in a fight mode the characters will dynamically change their movement speeds to match the context properly thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link could be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye